Okay, so you're a bit like me. You've recently started a YouTube channel and you're surveying the landscape. You want to improve the quality of your videos, but don't know where to start. I mean, should you upgrade your camera? Or maybe you should invest in a new microphone? But what about lighting? I mean, surely I can't afford to upgrade everything. I mean, I'll be totally honest, I have benefited from the fact that I am a full-time filmmaker away from YouTube. So now, I want to help you make budget-conscious purchases that will definitely improve the quality that you're outputting. Now might be a great time to push that subscribe button below to ensure that you're always aware whenever we upload new content aimed at improving your filmmaking. Roll intro. Okay, so maybe you're using a smartphone and you're looking to upgrade to a better camera, but don't want to break the bank. For the budget conscious that also want a camera that will give you a great image in a light package that also has great autofocus, then look no further than the Canon EOS M50. Brand new, without a lens, you can pick one of these up for around 500 pounds. You could also buy a used 50 mm 1.8 lens for under 100 pounds. And there you have a lightweight portable camera that you can use to vlog. I mean, sure, there are newer cameras, but I really don't think that even now you can beat the quality that this will give you for vlogging. Now, I'm not gonna go into all the specs as there are hundreds, if not thousands of videos that delve into this, but for the speed of the autofocus alone and the renowned color science straight out of the box, you really can't go wrong. And it also means saving you loads of time on color grading and press production, especially when you want to get content out really fast. Now, the last thing that's worth noting is the flip out screen. It comes in really handy when filming yourself. Now there are rumours of an M50 Mark II being released later in the year, so if you can wait, it might be a good idea. At least just to see what the camera has to offer in terms of increased flexibility and function. Okay, so what's up next? What about sound? I mean, who cares about sound anyways? In-camera sound might be enough for many, but what if I want my vlogs to sound a bit more professional? You'd be surprised by how many people actually switch off videos because of bad sound. Now, can I achieve better sound without having to sell my house? Of course you can. The Boya BYMM1 compact on-camera video microphone is a marked improvement on camera audio and you can pick this bad boy up for under £40 and it competes with the much more expensive Rode video micro at a fraction of the cost. No, really. It does. What I really like about this microphone and other ones like it is the ease of use. I mean you can simply place it into the hot shoe on your camera, plug in the audio wire into the microphone port and it's good to go. Even better, it doesn't need batteries so you don't have to worry about it running out midway through a recording. Nice. And lastly, lighting. Now I'm not saying that we all have to become film lighting specialists but having a simple light directed at you can really help to make you stand out against your background. It can also make the shot look just a bit more interesting. Now the options here are endless. Many vloggers use ring lights because they are relatively inexpensive and offer great improvements. What I use however are newer 480 LED lights. In fact, these are the lights that I'm using right now to illuminate this video. And coupled with an inexpensive light stand, they really offer excellent value. Now, they also run on batteries, but I always prefer to use plug-in power where possible so that the light never runs out. Now, just a quick side note, what do you have going on in your background? Can I be honest, the background in my house doesn't always look like this. Well, definitely not my desk anyway. Let me let you into a little secret. I can be a little untidy, but I know that a messy background in a video looks exactly that, messy. In your next video, really think about where you choose to film. It also depends on the type of content you film, of course. If you vlog daily about your life and walk around with your camera, then a lot of this won't apply because the background will be constantly changing and people like to see a sense of realism. Now, as you can see, I've gone for the uh, dimmed light, moody look. But that may not work for you. You may prefer to use a bright, more vibrant recording space, which is perfectly fine. But please note, if it doesn't look like you've taken any care in choosing where to record and how you set up the background, the lack of effort can be obvious and mess can kind of be distracting. Now, as I said earlier in the video, this is what I'd recommend when starting out on the budget, but this is by no means an exhaustive list. And of course, there are lots of different options that I just haven't used and can't vouch for. So if you think that I've missed anything out or have some other great recommendations, please add them to the comments below. Until next time.